Hello. Yep, doing it again. Looking at C++. You wouldn't believe it. Now, I did read an app on how to do C++ or how to use C++ recently. And that app was dog shit. Terrible. Is there something you can use for namespaces? I spent a little bit of time looking into it. Source file. Okay, now that I'm looking at this, I'll work on that later. Probably should have read it from the start, huh? Could have got that pch.h right from the get-go instead of spending 15, 30 minutes trying to figure out how that bad boy works. Ain't that a thing? Son of a bitch. Let's look at this. Okay, we looked at operators. Okay. Let's explore how it works. In the first case, all conditions, we dive deeper. I equal sign, equal sign four. And and okay so at the left sides first so they go left to right just like the english language if left side is wrong, they don't even bother checking the right side. Okay. So question marks are con conditional. Is that a colon or someone colon? Let's look at the colon. Adult equals. So adult assign age greater 18. Question mark true. Colon false semicolon. OK. 
Okay. Man, dude, this stuff is... Explaining bitwise, this stores data for use later. We already did that. It didn't even tell us what the age bitwise was. Bitwise was, but it's explaining it now. Respect that. Operators plus plus minus minus. Okay. plus and minus minus okay x is assigned a value of one x plus plus colon increased by one and now equal to a set Minus decrement set of above. Okay. We will learn about curled brackets, also referred to as curlies, the parentheses, the square brackets, and the double quotes the single quotes, and more. They said, these are things, we'll teach you later. I said, you'll get better at these later when you learn and practice it. Thank you. Variables and data types. Dude, this has got to be one of the most boring things to look at. It's just a blank screen. Hell yeah. Let's make it even blanker. Wow. To understand variables and how to use them. Computers constructed from two core components, CPU, central process unit, and RAM, random access memory. 
To further simplify this, every computer needs to store information in memory. You need to access the information it stored at some point. Here is where variables come into picture. Variables are abstract. Okay, so the memory at memory addresses. So we want to store an integer int named age, which has a value of 21 to the memory int size is four bytes. This is how our memory addresses, our memory address and size will appear. Int for integer long using a longer number, long long using a longer number, z bytes, care stores a value of a single character. This is an integer type. Bool stores a value of true or false. Double precision floating point. Long double using a longer precision floating point number that's more precise. Float a single precision floating point value. Boy, no type, no storage assigned. Okay. In this coding example, we'll show you different variable types. To do this, we'll use the size of operator. Size so is used to measure the size in bytes. Size of variable int i j j equals size of i. Okay, it says open up a new project. It says name it variables. Create. Okay, I don't have the using namespace std set up yet, so I gotta skip that step and do a bunch of shit. So type std colon colon every single time. Count. So let's get rid of this too. TD colon colon count. We will display. Yo, 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 what's up, Bell? Just staring at this screen. Super mega entertaining. We will display. Here, a uh, size. Of the variable care. Okay. Well, 
is. There we go. Now we're fucking cooking. We got is. Size of. Okay. Size of. Care. And Dell. Semicolon. STD. Count. Oops. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I uh, got caught up watching highlight videos on YouTube for a little bit. But yeah, I ended up streaming. Not sure why it wants that, but you know what? Got to give the program what it wants. I love how poorly I have this set up to the point where like after I do like run a program it doesn't actually run you can't see it like it actually runs but like I don't have it set up to where you could actually see it Yeah, it's fucking genius. This is some janky ass shit. Fucking some bad juju over here. If you catch my drift. Okay, the byte size of the variable care is... Dude, why, why do I keep doing WCAL? Well, let me never know. Okay. Yes. Uh, yeah, this stuff isn't complicated. I just don't understand it because my ability to comprehend is not very good. But I'm so disappointed with the game that I decided that the only option I have is to learn how to develop and make a better version of the game just so I can enjoy playing that game again. You know what? I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be STD. There we go. There we go. Oh, we so smart. Look at us. I have to type out every single one of these. Oof. STD. Coat. There's got to be a way to like copy and paste at least this portion, right? I don't know the quick command for copy and paste. Try it and see if it works like a regular word doc. Look at that. Ain't that party? Uh, bite size of variable int is. I 
this. Hold. Care. CD and L. I hope this works. If this doesn't work, dude, it's going to be such a big waste of time. It's going to look so foolish. By the size of the variable longness. Be learning, be learning. Gotta correct this. We have to have consistency. There we go. Dude. Wait, I can just do this, this dude. Look at that. Fucking big brain time. Oh my god. I just figured out why they uh wrote you can copy and paste the whole thing and just change variable. Because I'm an idiot. So I forgot to put the in all of them. So I'm an even bigger idiot. Good old Mr. Consistency over here can't even remember the Long is space. It's bad boy. So care. It's TD. And Dell. Okay, <sighs> yeah, let's run this. Why didn't that work? What the fuck? Typed it in exactly how they told me to type it.
Okay. Did I forget to do the int main part? What I have to do? Is this what I have to do to get this shit finished? What what are the issues now? Illegal use of namespace, identifier, and expression? You fucking doing illegal shit? Yeah, it's actually banned in 23 countries, believe it or not. All illegal as and not allowed. Why did they just say so? Why did they gotta word it like that? Okay. Messed up one of these. What's wrong with it? Wait, let's try this. That fix it? Yelp. We will display here the size of variable care is one. The byte size of variable care is one. Int one. Long one. That doesn't seem right. Oh my god, I'm a fucking idiot. I ran care every single time. Okay, let's uh, correct these. Like, someone that's not an idiot. And... Long... Long, long. Wait, is long, long correct? No, there's a space between it, but I didn't put it there because I didn't know. Not because I'm an idiot, because I'm ignorant. Different things. Double.
Okay, variable carries one and four, long four, long, long eight, the variable double eight. Hey. Okay, we did it. Fucking big brains. Nice. How to use variable in your code. Okay, to use variable in our code, we must declare it first. Variable declaration in C is constructed in two parts variable type space, variable name. Declaring the type of variable in double care, the type of variable is part of the variable list that's, that is a part of C++. Declaring the name of variable, yada yada. Let's see some examples of declaring a variable type in some name samples. Int age, for example, age is 45. Double distance, for example, distance is 12.3 I don't understand like what are they, what are they getting at double You can use underscores, lower uppercases in your variable name. This is a matter of style. STD, colon, colon, string, first name. Always good to use meaningful names. Use consistent methods when declaring your variables. So just be smart with the way you name things. So let's be extremely consistent. Don't use exceedingly long names. And price has no value, therefore the compiler doesn't know what the value for price is. This can lead to many issues. Try to see what occurs when we don't initialize a variable. Let's write a simple code in this code we will declare variables type int and call it price okay so let's clear this bad boy out int price colon pride and i look foolish price STD count price STD and uh, cool. Okay, it says run it. it. Says there's an error. Yep. So it says set a price. Ten. Okay. Let's run it. Okay, it just says ten. Okay.
Okay. Hmm. I need to blow my nose. I can see why learning this stuff is super necessary for game development, though. Because I have seen some compiling issues whenever I've tried to... Like, I tried making a custom map in Left 4 Dead with zero knowledge on how to do it, and whenever you have compiling issues and you have no idea on how to, like, read or, like, figure out any of the shit, it ends up just being dog shit. Can't figure out things, you gotta start from the basics, that's why I bought this book. such cases a best practice is to initialize the variable as false that way unless you set it as true after finding what you're looking for it will remain false indicating the item not found we'll find something and I'm looking for we'll return value equals false The fuck does that mean? Type double name to read. Double rate equals twenty eight point five. Double rate constructor site. Well initialized. Double rate 28.5 modern C++ initialized. We recommend you always use modern C++ initialized. Okay. We'll declare an initialized variable within the main function. These variables can only be used within the function and are therefore called local variables. The scope of the local variables is limited to the main function. Another way to declare initialized variables is outside the main function, allowing other parts of your program to access them. These variables are called global variables. Okay. Let's write a simple code with these two variables. Okay. Let's get rid of this bad boy. And age. Okay. And age. STD count age and L colon Okay. Let's look at our output. Since there's an issue. 
Oh yeah, it's because I forgot the STD. Never forget the STDs. It's the law. I want to set up an illegal compiler. It's 35. What's the point of doing this one? Okay, it's just showing me like the fact that even though I signed in page 45 because it's within int main, it processes that first within a coding. I'm assuming if I don't have any value right here, let's just go value valueless. That's at zero. Okay, I guess that's how global fucking, uh, whatchamacallits work, huh? Constants. In many cases, we need to use a variable that cannot be changed, for example, then the number of days in a week or numbers of a month in a calendar. Or the value of pi, these variables must stay constant and unchangeable. This is where constant variables come to play. Const, once we declare a constant variable, we cannot modify that valuable value of the variables. Any attempt to do so will result in compiler error. Okay. Get rid of this, we don't need that no more. Okay. Okay, STD, never forget your STDs, boys. Const. Constant ints. I. This. Bracket. Okay. Why is it telling me to write down notes? We initialized I to two. I plus plus. So this is going to be a compiling error. We increment i by 1. Because it's a constant, this should immediately result in a compiling error. Right? Hey, look at us. Why is there like weird spaces there? It's weird. Let's fix those first. What was the other one? I is undefined. I is too. I is extremely defined. I might be the most defined thing in the world. Okay, so we're getting the wrong errors. So what the fuck is with that, am I right? It's 
What's wrong with this? Come on. Const? That just means constant. What do you want about coding? Let's try like running this without this, see what happens. What's the issue? A legal token right next to that. What's illegal about this? Why is it saying this is an illegal variable? Or illegal token? Dude, I hate whenever you Google, like, questions, like, oh, why is it saying that? It's just, like, people with their fucking scientific jargon, they're like, yeah, you know, I looked to the left and I saw it on 1.23, what version are you running? Well, you're running version 3.60. Shame, shame. It's just like, dude, go fuck yourself. Let's try without STD, see how that works. Okay, so for integers, you don't actually need to put STDs. You need to put that on counts. So you need to put it on end input outputs. Dude, I'm a fucking idiot. Okay. Okay, it's saying write a new program. It's 
says include math.h. Is that an option? Can we include math.h? Include math. No issues found. You look like we're running smooth. We got our int main here. We fucking chillin'. Float temp underscore. F brackets temp underscore C brackets semicolon STD send Okay, yeah, okay a little bit ahead of myself count Sure uh, Temperature and I'm gonna be honest, even though I'm a native English speaker, I don't think I'd be able to spell Fahrenheit correctly 90% of the time. It's possibly because Fahrenheit is like doesn't look English or Latin, it looks kind of German. Let me look this up. German. Yeah. Thought so. TD. It's TD. Sign. Okay, and this is why you need to be good at math. This part right here. Or at least a basic understanding on how mathematical formulas work. Times. I have pointed to zero divided by nine point zero. Okay. TD. Temperature in Celsius is
Let's try it out. It says try to convert a solid to GBD or the area of a square. Okay, let's see it. And by we, I mean me. Okay. The temperature in Celsius, Fahrenheit's 50, Celsius is 10. Let's see if that's right. Hey, we fucking did it. Twice. Okay, it says try doing that to US dollar. I'm not sure what temp is. I assume it's like, oh, temperature Fahrenheit. Okay, so I'll do USD. USD. Let's convert it to yen. Let's do yen. Okay. Turn. Much. SD. Do. You have okay. SD. J Y E N. USD. Let's uh, convert that. So The one Japanese yen is equal to point zero zero seven zero United States dollars. And I just multiply it by point zero zero seven. Let's see if my math checks out. Okay, it says we have an issue. Where's the issue? J Y E N. Okay, let's do this. How how much U S dollars do you have? That's it should be how many? Oh, dude, I'm such an idiot. You have. Point zero seven. 
I have a 0 0.7 yen. I think I got it backwards. Yeah, I got the conversion wrong. I'm a fucking idiot. Okay. Is it 7,000 then? Let's try it. Three hundred ninety-two thousand yen. Okay. How many dollars did I put in there? I put in fifty-six. Yen. Thousand fifteen sixty-four. And two U.S. USD to yen. Okay, I'm a fucking idiot, dude. I am terrible at math. It's 143.14. No, it's 7,000. 0.14. And if I would have used my brain, if I would have multiplied 1,000 by... I should have been looking for a seventh of like a thousand. Let's pull up a calculator really quick. So 1,000 divided by seven equals not the same number. Okay. Let's try this again. 56. Thousand fifteen eighty four. But did the value of the fucking yen change? <laughs> like, what the fuck? No, the decimal points that it goes to is different. But it makes sense, okay? I still have to fucking do something else. Okay. Uh, boy, wait, we ain't no boys here, man. Age, okay. B, man. <laughs> There we go. Three count how much? Okay. Is it? How old? How older are you? Input. Okay. Okay. Input. How old are you? And age. Okay. Female age. B. What's her age? What was the ratio? Have her for Half your age plus seven. Man. Age. 
damage. Right there, do the right divide. That's the real question. Go over here. Yeah, we used to write divide. Right two. Plus seven. Okay. She is. see if that works how old are you oh i'm 26 don't date under 20 yo okay let's do the math on the calculator now six divided by two Oops. i mean i don't even need a calculator to do the math now that i think about it but okay yo dude what an advanced program. Also, Parks and Recreation reference right here. How old is the allowable age to date, Tom? Half your age plus seven. Forgot the rest of the quote. All I remember is at one point, Andy's like, that means... And she was... When I was in third grade, she was a baby. I would never date a baby. <laughs> okay. Man. Okay. Let's go for the next one. Ooh, dude. I I also need to notate this. Heck. Include math dot h plus 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 that's cool I actually learned I learned something I even did something extra they never even asked me to do that. I just did it because I wanted to. Because I love Parks and Recreation. I I love it. Okay. Just uh, call it quits there. 